Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omnis so and today I will re review the major label debut album by Eminem, the Slim Shady LP. Yeah, you know, I've had my history with this guy, you know, I used to hate him, I used to, you know, be like, why is he so popular, you know, why do people like him so much, you know, or I didn't get rap in general, but, you know, uh, gave the Martial Matters LP a listen, I liked it, but, you know, didn't love it at first, now it's one of my favorite albums. Um, the Slim Shady LP is kind of similar, I would say, this is uh, kind of a bit more laid back and a bit more... Um, a bit easier I would say, it's still pretty explicit and still pretty fucked up, but um, you know, besides the Martian Matters LP, this is still kind of a mellow album in comparison I would say, so you know, chiller beats in a way, just uh, kind of a more chill tone compared to Martial Matters, you know, um, if some other random artist would release this, it would be like their most controversial album, but you know, for Eminem, it's just another album, so there you go. So we have 20 songs on there, I'm not going to talk about all of them, but you know, we have some public service announcements on there, you know, um, Eminem stating that you have to be this old and you have to, like, uh, be this and that and, you know, be this age to listen to this album. He's just kind of like, like giving you a heads up before you dive into this album. Um, then the first official song kicks in, which is My Name Is, of course, which uh, kind of kicks open the door for Eminem because... This was really his first like major label debut single, so this was really the start of everything. Uh, love the fucking, you know, how does the lyric go again? Do you want me, do you want to see me stick Niners nails in my eyelids and shit like that? You know, of course I love that. I'm a fucking sucker for that lyric. Lovely song. Starts of the uh, starts of Eminem's career really. We had fucking. Infinite before this, yeah, I believe it was called Infinite, but that was not that good. So, this is, I would say, this is really the start of his career. So, there you go. Another classic song, Guilty Conscience. Um, you know, uh, Eminem kind of rapping with Dr. Dre uh, back to back, um, convincing a guy to uh, do a crime and not commit a crime. Whereas Eminem is the, uh, the devil, actually, <laughs> and Dr. Dre is the angel. So, you know, on your shoulders, um, in, uh, metaphorically speaking. So, yeah, that's kind of the song. It's really fun. It's really quirky. It's uh, You have some skits in there thrown in. So, it's a fun song. It's not per se my favorite, but it's still classic, I think. Another classic song is uh, Brain Damage. A really chill beat made by the Bass Brothers. Really appreciate their beats. Love that uh, scalpel. You, you know, that fucking, that opening. Uh, love that, you know, whenever they're actually uh, cutting into the brain, in a way, so very chill track, very nice, nicely produced, very good lyrical content, so love it. Another skit um, from Paul, Paul's like the classic skit, in a way, he, he becomes like a signature skit person, I believe, so the Paul skit, so that is like a really famous thing, I believe, so there you go. Um... Yeah, if I add this kind of slower, it kind of builds up to this very fucked up track which uh, is coming up. But if I add this very chill and very just uh, centered, I would say, centered around uh, Eminem's family. He's just saying uh, that uh, if I had so much money, then I would flip up the whole, wor whole world and tell, tell them to kiss my ass and shit like that. So, very appropriate Eminem lyrics, really uh, love the kind of mellow, dark tone that the song possesses and... Yeah, I think it's another classic. And speaking of classics, we have the very fucked up and dark 97 Bonnie and Clyde, which is probably one of my favorites because it's so fucking dark. If you thought that If I Had was dark and atmospheric and shit, then Bonnie and Clyde is on a whole other level. This is arguably one of the uh, most fucked up songs from Eminem, I want to say of all time, but there are probably more fucked up songs out there. I mean, from what I know, it's one of the most fucked up songs that I've ever heard. He's just basically saying to his um, to his daughter, um, Haley, yeah, Haley Matters, I believe that that's his, like his daughter. Um, he say he's saying to her that oh, we're gonna tie a knot around mom's leg, and then we're gonna drag the stone in the water, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna make her swim, we're gonna make her float because that's what mommy wants. 
It's such a fucked up song, man. I mean, a fucking toddler committing, uh, you know, a murder, technically. So, um, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. And the the most fucked up thing about this is that Haley uh, doesn't realize this until she's way older. So, um, I mean, if this is like a real thing, she must be fucking traumatized. But there you go. Uh, this song was very fucked up, really loved the tone, um, I just love that Eminem gets away with this shit, like, he writes a song about, like, Kim Matters drowning, um, thanks to him and his daughter, and he gets away with it, of course, so, you can definitely tell that, um, you know, um, that Eminem could literally write a song about killing his wife with his daughter, and he still gets away with it, so, you know, it's it's not surprising to see that he really just nose dives. He just face planted his career with Encore, um, and he really didn't give a shit anymore. So um, that's kind of it, honestly. You know, he could get away with anything. So you know, then he made Encore, and yeah, terrible, and he never was the same again. But he was still really great on this, though. He was still pretty great. So there you go. Uh, bitch is another skit, basically just like a dumb hoe uh, smack talking Eminem saying that Oh yeah, this is not appropriate, fuck Eminem And that's kind of the end of it Z Zo Zoe Winkler, that's her name I think, fuck her Then we got Role Model, which is probably my favorite track of the album I'm still not sure about that, but uh, I love the, the bass from Or the, the bass, I love the production by Dr. Dre and Melman Amazing production, really love it. I love the rhymes on there. Uh, just a really fresh track in general. Really just love the tone, the atmosphere, just everything around about the song is great. So, one of my favorites. Great, great layers, great rap. Uh, just amazing flow, great production, flawless song, really. Uh, lounge, uh, basically just a party anthem, kind of a skit to get you into the mood, I guess. So, there you go. Then we got Ken, uh, oh wait, what? My fault. Uh, I can't really. Oh yeah, yeah. I rem I rem rem fucking hell. I remember this song. Uh, this is basically like a drugged up song. Eminem, you know, just talking about fucking. Um, you know, um, he's at a rave party or whatever. He's at a he's at a club or something, and this uh, he has this chick, and like he uh, he is like taking shrooms with her and. I believe Eminem just took like three or four and she ate the whole bag, so she was gonna fucking die. And he was saying, oh, you know, it's my fault, my fault. And it's it, it sounds kind of annoying maybe for some, but I think it's pretty funny. It's just a very funny kind of fucked up situation, just like Bonnie and Clyde, but that was really dark. This is more like goofy, oh fuck, I fucked up kind of situation. Still pretty funny, I think. Not like Bonnie and Clyde was funny, but I think this is funny, shut up. Uh, but it's funny how it is portrayed, it's just funny how, how it goes, it's kind of like 50-50, uh, like 50% of the song, 50% of the skit, so there you go. So, um, yeah, it kind of depends um, how serious you are, I'm pretty serious for most of the time, but I can definitely take a laugh at this album in a good way, so there you go. Especially with my fault, it's a great, uh, great kind of comedy song. Um, Ken Caniff is kind of a raunchy kind of skit, uh, I suggest that you sh that you listen to this if you really like uh, want to hear it for yourself because I'm not gonna go in detail about it because it's pretty explicit so there you go. If I have one least favorite track of the album it would be Come On Everybody uh, with Dina Ray. I think she has nice vocals though and I think this track is overall pretty good but uh, you know it doesn't really like... Um, doesn't really ruin the album for me, for me per se, but this uh, this song definitely is the weakest of the album I would say. So this is definitely my least favorite. Uh, come on, everybody, get down tonight. You know that's essentially the the whole song. So didn't really care for it that much, but it's still you know it's still a good song. But it's just the worst of the album. So there you go. And then we got Rock Bottom, which is arguably the best song of the album. So um, this album is kind of inconsistent in a way, but you know it's all good, I guess. Um, I love the, the lyrics again, I love the flow, um, I just love how fucking deep this song goes, rock bottom, a lot of people can relate with that probably, great title, great production, great rap, so um, yeah, it's pretty much an Eminem classic, so I don't really have a lot to say about it, so yeah, it's, it's just an essential really. 
Then we have Just Don't Give a Fuck, which is a very kind of trippy song. Um, y you know, you have this fucking announcer that is saying like, Oh, throw your hands in the air like you're just on her. And it's just so fucking weird. And then uh, just Eminem com comes in with like uh, Slim Shady, brain dead like Jim Brady. <laughs> like what the fuck, man? I, like I don't even know who that is, and, and um, well, it just feels offensive. Of course, it is offensive. Uh, I love the beat uh, change up towards the middle section. I think I love that. Whenever the beat just kind of like uh, it's it's kind of switches in a way. Love that. Whenever it just kind of goes alternate in a way. Really uh, chill song. Really aggressive as well. This is kind of like that perfect Eminem song that goes like it has a chill beat. But Eminem is really fucking aggressive on it, so that's probably the best kind of Eminem. Aggressive Eminem that is produced by Dr. Dre sounds fucking great and chill, but the guy is pissed off. That's probably like the, the best kind of Eminem that you can get. Dr. Dre production, Eminem rap, uh, rapping about something very aggressively, that's kind of it honestly. Uh, then we have Soap, can't really remember this kid, but it's all good. Um, I will say that these last couple of tracks, they are definitely kind of deep cuts on the album because as the world turns, it's kind of like more of a deep cut, definitely a, a very kind of, you know, fucking, uh, yeah, just a deep cut. I don't really have another word for it. Definitely check it out if you're into that kind of stuff. I am because it's produced by the Bass Brothers, all of these last four tracks, so there you go. And all by Dr. Dre, I think, so do whatever you want. Yeah, Dr. Dre only produced like the, the early songs, there you go. Uh, then, we, then we get I'm Shady, which is definitely kind of a self uh, complimentary kind of song. It's definitely kind of centered around Eminem, of course. So he's just basically uh, going off about that he is Slim Shady and that he will like fuck your bitch and that he will, uh, you know, mess you up if you mess with him. So uh, it's a pretty. Um, self-explanatory kind of song it is pretty straight to the point and it is just you know um an eminem staple i would say it's just pretty self-explanatory really and then we get bad meets evil which is actually the debut of uh royce the five nine i think maybe he had a career before this but i highly doubt it but you know um it's really interesting to see that bad meets evil was already a thing on this album uh, with this song rather and later I think um, more than a decade later they would form Bad Meets Evil the rap duo uh, Royce the Five Nine and Eminem so this is definitely interesting because the flows are already very um, consistent and just very out there I think um, and it's kind of interesting that Eminem picked this up you know in 2010 uh, in his re relapse recovery era so it was definitely interesting to hear what this duo could do and it was definitely very uh, good on this song. Arguably the best of their entire career, you know, the, the bad meets evil career, so... Arguably, it's very good on this uh, on this track, so uh, I really like it for that, so there you go. And Still Don't Give A Fuck is a very uh, underrated track, I think. It's kind of the follow-up to Just Don't Give A Fuck, but... The production is stripped down, it's it's way chiller right now, it's way more uh, dense and way more chilled down. Uh, Eminem's lyrics are way, uh, way kind of more low-key in a way, they're still kind of, uh, you know, insulting and still kind of, um, you know, uh, flatlining people, I, I would say, but um, it's definitely more in a subtle kind of um, alt alternative kind of way. Whereas with Just Don't Give A Fuck, he was just like flipping off people left and right. And with Still Don't Give A Fuck, he's, he's a bit more layered with it though. Intelligent, very, very deep. Uh, he still insults people, but it's definitely a bit more subtle, I, I would say. So definitely kudos for that. A favorite of mine because, you know, it is a bit more subtle, I think. So there you go. Um, if I would have a favorite on, on, on this album, uh, definitely Still Don't Give A Fuck. That's probably my favorite. So this album probably ends on the best possible note. Um, and the other songs are basically just all classics in a way. Bonnie and Clyde is, you know, fucked up, but that's great. My Name Is is a classic. Uh, Brain Damage is great. Uh, My Fault is funny. Rock Bottom is a classic. Just Don't Give a Fuck is, is also a classic. So 
Yeah, then we have a problem with this album. It's it's classic Eminem. Uh, this, you know, Marshall Mathers will be in the Eminem show. I think from his classic albums, I only um, the only album I haven't reviewed is the Eminem show. So if people want to, um, you know, uh, if people want to see me review that, or if people want a review from that, then fucking hell. If people want a review uh, of the Eminem show, then let me know because that's arguably my favorite Eminem album. Well, it's already a spoiler right there, but you know, it's still fun to talk about, I think. So, I'm gonna give this album a 10 out of 10. I think it is pretty flawless. Um, I love the skits. I think the songs are great. The singles are catchy. The, the deep cuts are very, very deep, very dark and fucked up, but still really fun to listen to. Uh, only flaw with it, like I said, come, come on everybody, but it's not, you know, it's still good, it's still a good track, but it's definitely the weakest song from the album, so there you go. That's my opinion on uh, the Slim Shady LP by Eminem, I think that Martial Matters LP is still, that's always probably going to be my favorite Eminem album, because it's such a dark fucking album, and it has Stan on it, and fucking Bitch Please too, with that whole fucking rap uh you know that's rap gangster fucking shit so just ama just an amazing album but this is really amazing too you know you can call i would say this is a masterpiece too but i prefer uh his follow-up sophomore f uh sophomore efforts masterpiece so there you go that's for that's the review of slim shady lp let me know what you think about it in the comments down below like on the subscribe channel for free this like one like I said, let me know what you think about it. Do you love it, hate it? Do you love, hate Eminem? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Peace.